what you gonna realize in this video that modern women are struggling with, you know, receiving truth, acknowledging what is absolute truth via the inspired word of God because a drag queen, a transgender man that Jesse Lee Peterson was interviewing did a better job of having the spirit of a woman when you think about how the modern woman has become. So Jesse Lee Peterson asked this transgender man that's now a woman and says that he partakes in, in, in drag queen activities. He was asking some questions that I saw a lot of women get offended by previously. And this transgender man didn't get offended, was still able to have what scripture might say is a quiet and meek spirit while voicing his opinion in disagreeing. And, you know, I, I, I watched it because I, I said, I want to see how these two spirits that are opposingly different are going to converse. And shockingly, it was, it was like, I said, man, how is this transgender man able to get the things that modern woman, you know, is struggling with how is he able to do this, even doing it in the, the flesh of a man? And this is when I said, uh-oh, modern woman has a problem. The modern feminist woman who gravitates towards the way of the world and not righteousness has a problem on her hands. See, the modern woman doesn't even realize what she's gotten herself into. When we look at, you know, the modern woman that says there's no good men out here, when we look at the rate of divorces, 70% of them are filed by women. The rate goes up to 90% if these women are college educated. When we look at the modern woman, she's loud, she's obnoxious. Don't know how to be submissive because she ain't learned or saw that spirit in another woman. Has the spirit of a Jezebel, you know, wants to manipulate and control men. Anytime you tell them something that they don't like, spirits start manifesting, demonic, satanic spirits start manifesting. And you have this group of women Christian feminist women, especially when Roe versus Wade came out, you could you could you could immediately tell that they weren't interested in walking in the ways of Jesus Christ, Yahshua Hamashiach, because they would open up their mouth and say what was truly in that heart. Talking about they support abortions and all of this. If you a God fearing woman. How can you even, how can you even find yourself justified saying that when the Ten Commandments that a lot of us, you know, most people can't even name three of, speak out against it? And I said, man, if even if the Christian woman is struggling with answering questions about biblical truth and being fully submitted to God, woo-woo! The modern woman who don't have a relationship with God, oh, you in trouble. Oh, you in trouble. Now, check this out. If you take a modern woman, a worldly woman, who is truly not God-fearing, because a God-fearing woman don't want nothing to do with a modern woman other than to minister to them, other than to try to pull them up out of what they possibly been delivered out of. And you line them up with a transgender man who is now a woman or a drag queen, chances are the average person might think or assume that the transgender man or the drag queen has more of a spirit of a woman, even if he's not in the flesh of a woman. Check this out. A lot of women like 
and acknowledge the fact that uh, a homosexual man or a, a man that is involved in that community can do makeup even better than women. A lot of women claim that a man involved in that community can do hair better than modern women. You start to look at that lineup, nine modern women, worldly women versus one transgender man, one drag queen, start to realize a lot of similarities. Drag queen got fake hair on their head. Modern woman got fake hair in her head. Modern woman got on long eyelashes. Drag queen got on long eyelashes. Modern woman got excessive makeup on her face. Drag queen. Transgender man got makeup on his face. Transgender man has fake nails. Modern woman got fake nails. Modern woman got butt injections, lip injections. Transgender man got lip injections. Got the same thing. And you wonder why the modern woman is struggling. Put them in a lineup and you'll realize there may be no difference. Transgender man in that doggone interview had more of a spirit of a woman even inside of a man's body. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight. Bow.